Shibboleth. Yeah. Shibboleth. Yeah. Yeah. Shibboleth. Yeah. Yeah. Shibboleth. Yeah. Nah, it's, it's definitely shibboleth. Shibboleth. Yeah. Yeah. Shibboleth. 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 All right, let me put shibboleth in layman's terms for you and make you say, say less on shibboleth, okay? So there's three main components to shibboleth. We have the user, the service provider, and the identity provider. The user in this case is me. I'm on my laptop, on Google Chrome, right? And I want to access Microsoft Azure. Microsoft Azure is a service provider because it provides services. It provides these protected resources like Office 365, your Google applications like Gmail, Google Drive, etc., and Dropbox. These are just some of the protected resources that Microsoft has, has to offer. Now, the identity provider is what's going to authenticate me or, or based on the single set of credentials that I try to sign on to Microsoft Azure's homepage. And that's a Windows server. So, single set of credentials to sign on to the home page, right? Okay. Then the service provider is going to send an authentication request to the identity provider. The identity provider is then going to authenticate me or not authenticate me based on the single set of credentials that I gave. It will then send a message back to the service provider saying if I'm good to go or not. In this case, I am. Once it validates, it creates a session between me and the service provider. Now, I'm on Microsoft Azure's homepage, right? Now I have access to all of these different protected resources, like Office 365. Now I go back to the homepage, I can access my Gmail. Go back to the homepage, I can access Dropbox. All with one single set of credentials and no more 17 passwords. So, this is this week's Quintna. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Say less. I'll be like, shibboleth, say less, right? <laughs>